Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. We have two news to give to you. One has to do with the statement made by the Southern Kaduna resident about the upcoming election. This style they are going to use to vote out the wrong government. And I want you to go to a comment section to, after listening to the news, to tell me which particular uh, party are they actually talking about is it some new stuff or do you think it has to do with the current government and then also in another news shockingly bandits have surprised the shiroro people again don't forget yesterday we reported a case of hunters shocking you know the bandits with their surprise move but currently something else have happened call it reprisal you won't be wrong we're going to be looking at that all in a jiffy but before doing that if you're not subscribed kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our video the southern kaduna people union has urged its members and the entire kaduna state resident to vote wisely on saturday which is today in the local government election Sakupo urged people not to vote the party that had subjected them to killing, humiliation, and inflicted them with pains. This was contained in a statement signed by the president of the group, Jonathan Asake, and made available by its spokesperson, Luca Biniyat. The statement read, Saturday, which is the, today, the 4th of September 2021, the local government election will be conducted to elect chairmen and councillors across the 23 local government of Adia State Kaduna. As you are aware, Sukapu is a non-partisan organization, but we are interested in good governance that will bring development not only to southern Kaduna people, but to the entire state and Nigeria. So when you go out to vote tomorrow, be guided by the following. Mobilize and come out in mass to vote. After you have voted, don't leave. Stay and protect your votes and ensure that they are counted and recorded correctly. Remember, even though you are voting for individual, they represent their political party as well. So a vote for any individual is a vote for their political party. Don't vote for a party that manipulates our diversity to cause disunity. Don't vote for a party that abandons our people and encourages insecurity, kidnapping, and collection of ransom. The massacre of our people, displacement of our people into IDP camp, destruction of our farmland, and occupation of our homeland. Don't vote for the people or party that didn't create chiefdom for our people, but instead is eager to bargainize them, downgrade our chiefs, change the name of our chiefdom without our consent, and humiliated our traditional rulers, religious leaders, elders, and leaders. Don't vote for a party that takes pleasure in demon demolishing our homes and business premises without following due process or providing alternatives. Don't vote for a party that unduly and mercilessly sacks civil servants and teachers without paying them their disengagement benefit. Don't vote for the party which takes pleasure in jailing anyone opposing, opposed to their dragonian style of governance. Don't vote for a party that promotes not adherence to the rule of law. Don't vote for a party that is enslaving future generations by recklessly taking loans without any meaningful amenities or infrastructural development in our community. Let's protect our vote. Let's protect South Kaduna. Let's protect Kaduna and our future by voting rightly and wisely. God bless you all and may God continue to bless Southern Kaduna, Kaduna State and the entire Nigeria. Hmm. Meanwhile, in another development, Armed bandits in their large numbers on Friday night invaded Magami community in the Shiroro local government area of Niger State, killing no fewer than 20 villagers in what source close to the community said it was a reprisal attack by the gunmen. The, a number of villagers are said to be missing after the night attack, while several others fled to neighboring communities for safety. It will be recalled that on Wednesday night, the men of the Special Security Task Force comprom comprising the police, local hunters, and vigilantes launched an attack on the bandits, taking down about 40 of them and recovering 16 motorcycles, including armed and ammunition. However, a spokesman of the concerned Shiroro youth, Malam Yusuf Abubakar Kukoki, who confirmed the latest killing by the bandits to our 
to us on a telephone on Saturday morning said the bandits came in their numbers, unleashing terror on members of the communities in the night. According to him, realizing that the combined team of police special force, hunters and local vigilante who had earlier inflated heavy casualty on them had returned to their base at Galadima Kogu, the bandit mobilized a return like a pride of wounded lions killing people at sight. They take down their victims with different weapons. Unfortunately, the unarmed Unarmed, peaceful, and defenseless locals are now at the receiving end. By a reliable record, no fewer than 15 people have been brought down by the marauding criminals. Six people were confirmed at Onguang Magiru under Madaka Ward, Rafi local government area, four people at Farin Hula, and five people at Magami and Environs, all under Manta Ward of. Shiroro local government area, while scores of others are still missing. The, Ko- the Kukoki stated further that many villagers have now fled to Kuta headquarters of the local government and other neighboring villages where they are now staying as internally displaced people. Kuta, the headquarters of Shiroro local government area, which is considered a safer ground, is swelling up with fleeing IDPs who have since vacated the trouble areas campering other skelter for shelter, peace, and security. Kukoki suggested that the onslaught against criminal needs to be a sustained one in order to avoid a replica of this nature, adding that sustained oppression can go a long way in halting or avoiding any possible reprisal that could result into unwanted casualties. The concern Shiroro youth, he, he said, is therefore calling with a loud voice on the authorities' concern to immediately mobilize security personnel as well as local vigilante and station same at Magami, which is now the epicenter of atrocities being retreated by these dreaded criminals so as to restore security in the area. This, according to him, will guarantee peace and enable the locals to continue with their lawful and legitimate activities. All efforts to get the reaction of the chairman of the local government area, Haji Suleiman Chikukba, in phone was abortive as he did not pick up his cell phone despite several calls made to him. A government official who spoke on condition of anonymity confirmed the talk on Kukoki, Baza, Magami, and Madaka villages saying they attack and kill many people, but the number is yet to be ascertained. Police Public Relations Officer Niger State Police Command DSP was you Abiodun when contacted, promised to get back to our correspondent, but did not do so even until this time of reporting. Hmm, this is uh, wonderful, I'm telling you. I, I was expecting this. That one of the suggestions made here by the, the community is sustainability in security. It matters a great deal because these guys have already seen these communities as being vulnerable. And being vulnerable, they know that whoever that is coming to help them with the way things are going will only stay there for a few days and go back. They won't stay there for long. So these security personnel need to site at least a mobile police station there. And I've always been saying that thing. These, our leaders, governors and the likes, they are paid well in terms of security vote. What do they use that security vote for? Is it totally exhausted? I, I, I don't know much about that security vote if it is actually um, a, a fund, funds that is meant to be accounted for and if it is like not just allowance then they should be at least a a biannual um, audit of the security votes so that uh, this issue of insecurity which is pending in different states in nigeria can be brought to a standstill because i believe that if you finish mobilizing these hunters and other vigilante members and equip them with required material with required um, weaponry 
whether it is not a gun but you give them a knife and other things like torch and you you pay them on a monthly basis these things will continue hmm. now looking at the other news talking about uh, what uh, Karuna south um forum had to say about today's election uh, this is something that the government of the day apc i don't participate in politics i only vote but if apc wants to <laughs> get back their position as a leading party in Nigeria. This particular statement by the Southern Karuna guys should be a wake-up call to them because every narration given, every reason or conditions given why uh, these people should not vote is pointing straight to APC. APC is totally guilty of this, especially in Kaduna State. Yeah, Kaduna guy... I'm talking about Erufai has been doing a little in his power, you know, to see how he can restore peace and other things. But there are still a lot of things which um, put his government uh, kind of under spotlight. Your inability, lack of readiness to get the people fully involved in decision making. If, for example, you want to sack maybe school teachers and all of that for some reason you feel it's right and the people are strongly demanding that you shouldn't sack them why do you go ahead to sack them if it gets to a point you can reduce their salaries you understand if you don't have enough funds to pay them but a situation whereby you are very uh, dragonian in your style of leadership you wake up you make decision you don't care how the people feel this is the kind of report you get keep getting you know from their end because uh, no matter who you are no matter your capacity you need to understand that you were voted in by the people it's not something that is uh, via your lineage and they said uh, everybody in our lineage must be a governor no this is democracy it all revolves around the people and if you don't give them understanding this is the kind of statement you'll be getting I like to leave it. They go to our comment section. Do you think that APC still stand the chance of leading Nigeria come 2023 based on the statement made by this Southern Kaduna resident who have been subjected to all manner of trouble, you know, as a, a people? And also, looking at the other news, do you think that um, the issue of insecurity must be, must be dealt with with some?